Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Eves. Thanks for joining me today. In this video I'll demonstrate Identity Services Engine multiple matrices and in particular the DEF CON matrix. So let's jump over to Identity Services Engine and we get to the matrices under the work centers, the, the TrustSec menu and TrustSec policy and you can see a number of matrices here. At the top we have a number of matrices and at the bottom we have two examples for the DEF CON policy matrices, so we'll get on to DEF CON shortly. But initially, why would you want multiple matrices? Well, one example might be for different locations. So you'd have a one matrix for policies for a particular location, like North America, as an example, and another policy in EM EAR. Um, another reason why you may want multiple matrices is for role-based, so for development sites have one policy matrix and for joint ventures, for example, another policy matrix. And then another reason may be state-based, so for heightened threat sites or for high-risk sites you may want to use different policies there. So there are just some examples of why you might want to use multiple matrices. Now you actually assign network access devices here to use particular policies. For example, if I click on the NAD which is assigned to the development sites, we can see that development has policies used on the, this 4500. And if we go back to those matrices we see we have a NAD assigned to joint venture sites. And if we look at this NAD, it's a 3560. Now the actual policy itself for development, for example, let's have a look at the policy matrix for development. Of course, if you remember, you read this matrix down the left-hand side being the source group, and across the top you see the destination group. And the intersection is the SGACL. So we have an SGACL here for from guests to dev servers and from high-risk personnel to dev servers. And in SGT terms, that is from 8 to 7 and from 3 to 7. And we can actually have a look on the 4500 itself. If we do show CTS role based permissions, show CTS role based permissions, we can see from 3 to 7 and from 8 to 7 is resident and downloaded from ICE and is resident on the 4500. Now, if we go back to ICE, let's have a look at the joint venture matrix. So the joint venture is looking like this as an example. But here we've got from guests to joint venture services and from high risk personnel to joint venture services. And in SGT terms that's from 8 to 6 and 3 to 6. So if we have a look at, the, at this NAD we can again do a show CTS role based permissions and we can see this matrix has been downloaded from 3 to 6 and from 8 to 6. So they are resident. Now what about, let's go back and have a look at these DEF CON matrices. So we have two here, one is a DEF CON 4 which is moderate. So if we have a look at DEF CON 4, what is this set up for just as an example? So we can see pretty much that we're blocking from guests to most destinations and from everywhere else to guests. So we have this SGACL of deny IP. So really we're just um, blocking communication from any guests which might be on the network. And that's something that you may, you may desire as part of your company policy. So if we go back to the matrix list, if for any circumstance you wanted to activate this, then what you can do is select the matrix and click activate. And you can see on the right hand side both of these switches immediately are downloading this new policy it's because ICE is using the radius change of authorization message that, that back down to these both these switches saying download the new policy. So what this DEF CON policy is, it's a it's a policy for the global network. So rather than have these access switches being assigned to different policies, what the DEF CON matrix is forcing every single device in the network to use this matrix instead. And to see the change, if we now do 
the same command, have a look at the policies which are downloaded. We now have this new policy which is really blocking guest traffic. And if we look at the the other switch, we can have a look at the permissions again. And again, the policy should be identical. So both switches now are using this global um, policy. Equally, you can deactivate. So to deactivate this, again, ICE will send radius COA, and you can see the messages are successfully being acted upon on these switches. Again, if we look at the permissions, it's gone back to the permissions it had beforehand. And this has gone back to the permissions it had beforehand. Equally, we have a DEFCON 1 matrix here. And again, just as an example, um, we can have a look at the policy that is set for currently. And really, what we're doing is, from developers, I'm denying traffic to a lot of services. From guests, I'm still denying. And from high-risk personnel, I'm denying the traffic. So really, just in this example, I'm sort of allowing the emergency response personnel to gain access to the network. So if we go back to the matrix list, again, in a very similar fashion, we can click the DEF CON 1 critical. We can activate. Again, ICE will send radius. COA down to the switches, you can see it in action here. If we look at the permissions, we now have the permissions that are active for this DEFCON 1 critical matrix. Again, on this other switch, we can do look at the policies. And again, it's the DEFCON 1 critical matrix which is active. In similar fashion, you know, once the threat has uh, um, ceased, what you can do is deactivate that matrix. Again, radius COA. We can see the matrix is being downloaded. The the new policy, again, for the 4500 in development sites, we've got 3 to 7 and 8 to 7 being blocked. And on the 3560, we can look at the new policies. And we've got 3 to 6 and 8 and 8 to 6, again being, again being blocked. So this is a very, very quick example of identity services engine using multiple matrices, and particularly using the DEF CON matrix, to change the policies on the access switches. So that concludes the demonstration. Thanks very much for watching. For more information, please visit www.cisco.com forward slash go forward slash trustsec.